two elements. The third level can have four elements. And the ith level can have two to the power i elements. So if the height of the tree is h, okay, so the last level then could have a maximum of two to the power h elements. Now in a complete binary tree, you could have a case where the last level is exactly filled, in which case you can visualize it as a perfect triangle, right? where every level is filled to its capacity. But it's possible that the last level could, could have less than two to the power h elements. But in that case, the last row needs to be filled from left to right. So in that case, it's not going to look like a perfect triangle. It's going to look like, so it's going to look like this. Okay, so the overall shape is going to be something like this. So the last row is filled from left to right. So for example, if this two wasn't there, this would still be a complete binary tree because all levels up except the last level are completely filled and the last level is filled from left to right. But if I had deleted, instead of deleting this two, if I had deleted the one here, then it wouldn't have been a complete binary tree because then, you know, the last row is not filled from left to right. There is an empty space here and there are elements to the right of this space. So that, that won't be a complete binary tree. So do you understand the shape properties? By the way, each node here contains the value of the key. Okay, so each node is storing an item. And what I'm showing here is the value of the key, key field of the item. So this is the shape property. Uh, any questions about what a complete binary tree is? Okay. By the way, by the way, what is the height? What is the relationship between the height of a complete binary tree and the number of nodes? So clearly the number of, so let's say the number of nodes in this tree is N. Okay, let's say there are N items stored in this complete binary tree. Because we know that every level is full except for the last row, we know that the number of if, if the height of the tree is h, then the number of items must must be sorry must be greater than or equal to two to the power zero plus two to the power one plus two to the power two and so on till two to the power h minus one. Assuming that the last level is, so this is level zero, this is level one, this is level two, this is level three. Assuming that the last level is level H, all levels up to level H minus one are filled, right? So the number of elements in a complete binary tree must be greater than The number of elements that can possibly fit into these levels from 0 to h minus 1 right because there are some elements in the last level we don't know how many there are they could be 1 they could be 2 they could be 2 to the power h they can't be 0 because if there were 0 elements there then that won't have been the last level right so we are assuming that there is at least one element in the last level so this 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 holds here and this the value of this sum is equal to anybody remember the sum of this series What's the sum of uh, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus so on till 2 to the power h minus 1? It's 2 to the power h minus 1, right? Okay. Uh, this is an, a lower bound on n. But we know that the last level can at most be completely filled. So the number of elements are going to be, they, even though they are greater than this value, they'll need to be less than the same sum up to two to the power h because 
the total number of elements in the complete binary tree can be at most this much if the height of the tree is to be h. Right, so this is 2 to the power h plus 1 minus 1. So effectively we can say that n lies sorry n lies between 2 to the power h minus 1 and 2 to the power h plus 1 minus 1. So if we take the log so one thing we can say from this part of the inequality is 2 to the power h is less than n plus 1 and taking the log base 2 of both sides we get h is less than log of n plus 1 base 2. Another way to say it is h is order log n. So the height of the tree is logarithmic in the number of items in the tree. That's a consequence of the shape property. Any questions so far? Okay, uh, I proved two things here, right? So, did you understand this part? Okay, and did you understand this part? Okay, so what we what we did here was we derived a lower bound for n and an upper bound for n. We derived a lower bound from the fact that all levels except for the last one should be completely full right so that imposes this kind of a constraint because then the number of elements here have to be more than the number of elements that can possibly occupy the first h minus uh, you know the levels from 0 to h minus 1 so that's how we got this but if the height of the tree is h that is if the last level is level h then we also have an upper bound right because in the worst case, what could happen is the last level could be completely filled. And if the last level is going to be completely filled, then it's going to have 2 to the power h elements. So if so the maximum number of items that can exist in the tree maintaining this height h is this value, 2 to the power 0, because you know I'm filling the zeroth level 0 completely, level 1 completely, level 2 completely, and so on. And the last level is also completely filled. If I add one more item here, then it's impossible to for the height of this tree to remain h. It's going to become h plus 1. Right? So if we are given that the height of the tree is h and the number of items is n, then this, equal, this inequality must hold. Because if I add any uh, even a single element to this, then the height is going to go up. We are assuming that the height is h. Does that uh, answer your question? So basically what I've stated here is just, I've just combined these two inequalities. I've said n should be greater than 2 to the power h minus 1. That's what I've shown here. And it should be less than or equal to this particular sum, which is 2 to the power h plus 1 minus 1. And that's what I've shown here. It can be equal because if it's equal, it means that the last level is completely filled. But it can be less because the last level can be partially filled. But the last level can't be empty, right? So the last level can't be empty, and so n must have at least n must be greater than the number of items that could possibly fill levels zero to h minus one. And this is a strictly greater than it uh, uh, relationship. Can't be equal because if it's equal, it means that there are only the, the height of the tree is no longer h then because we only have levels from 0 to h minus 1. The last level is completely empty, in which case the height wouldn't be h, it would be h minus 1. 
Do you still have uh, doubts about this? Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you, I mean, if you look at this, right? How many items are there here in this uh, tree? Just ignore this. There are what uh, six items. So n is six here. H is two. Right. So you can see that two to the power h is. So how many uh, nodes can there be in the first? Uh, in level 0 and 1, there can be 3, right? So 2 to the power 2 minus 1 is 3. So one constraint is that n should be greater than 3. 